Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I have something for you about uniting the two hemispheres of the brain. Years ago I studied with Yogi Bhajan and in those days Yogi Bhajan had already predicted um, these times when there's um, cognitive dissonance and that kind of thing. Uh, he thought, as did Christ, I must say, that they'd be a lot sooner. But, you know, time has a way of waltzing around with us and, and what Christ predicted is the coming of the kingdom of God. Um, it took a few years, there were a few setbacks, and, uh, but the, the time that it took, 2,000 years, was not that great, you know, compared to the history of the universe. It was just a drop in the pan, you know what I mean, a drop in the bucket of time. <laughs> and what Yogi Bhajan predicted in the 1980s, I think it was, or late 1970s, um, that took a few years too. In fact, it took so many years that the people that, 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 were, that were paying attention at that time kind of forgot in the interval. And what has it been? Let's see, let's see, 80, 30 years, 30 or 40 years. And so now that time is here, that time of the coming of the kingdom of God, that time of like, that will be, for many, it will, as the mental filters lift from humankind, it's going to be a time of, of a lot of emotional and mental turmoil, you know, but naturally so in a, in a he healing and curative way. And um, so, but just uh, during his like time on earth, Yogi Bhajan came up with a gazillion meditations to balance the mind, to restore sanity, to bring tranquility, to have a peaceful mind, innumerable meditations, many of which are available free on the internet and on YouTube right now. And so, while I was studying that kind of yoga, kundalini yoga, I, I had a chance to practice these meditations for balancing the mind and, and, um, and like that. Lack of fear of death, for restoring the body to health, for um, uh, to just an incredible series of, of meditations there. And, um, and so then I went out in the world and I kind of set all that stuff aside. And uh, after that I encountered societal expectations, which I had, had been lifted off of me during my days of, of yoga study. And these expectations are that a certain class of people, generally speaking men, will, uh, or and maybe women who are scientists or, or doctors or um, psychologists, uh, women who are scientific and men in general, will uh, use mostly the left side of their brain in their daily interactions, yes? And that women in general will use the right side of their brain, the intuitive side, uh, in the, instead of the logical left brain in their daily interactions. Now the trouble with this is, it's when you join a group that believes that kind of thing, the trouble with this is that the great under, under story of the world, the unconscious thought cloud of the world, galumps right along and realigns your brain with the energies of the group. Big letdown. <laughs> so, so for the 50%, more or less, uh, mostly men who are using just their left brain, that leaves the intuitive side of their brain to be the receptacle, un underused in energy. You can feel like the dwindling of energy there and the ability of the unconscious thought cloud of the world. If you're a kinesthete, you can feel it to to wend its way right into that area and take over that part of their thinking. And for women, the opposite. The use of the right side of the brain allows the logical side, the left side, to be a receptacle of, of um, thought forms from, from the world uh, that kind of take over and dominate and create that patriarchal domination 
mental filter in women. Fine kettle of fish here. To go from a unified brain to a brain that is only, only half functional and which the other side allows the influx of all these ideas. <laughs> Fine kettle of fish. And to make matters worse, worse in the astral realm, I found in my readings from, from Lisa Renee and also from my own Claire experience that there used to be these, these, these entities that were like a neural net entities. I forget what she calls them. Intriguing work, Lisa Renee's work. Absolutely intriguing. These entities that would, like, she would call them implant into certain, the, the unused portion of the brain. Uh, they were shaped kind of like uh, jellyfish with tentacles that would slowly unfold and reach down into the neural network of a person, down through the spinal column, totally freak out stuff, totally freak out, and then kind of take over in that way and, and promote the unconscious thought cloud of the world regarding gender differences and regarding group like uh, indomitability and patriarchal domination and the role of women in society and all this uh, sub subconscious and unconscious stuff. You know, so what it felt like from a Claire point of view was the actual kind of a sense of helplessness. You know, a sense that that something was growing inside me that was not me, that was not conscious, that was not aware, and and that this all had to do with the left-right brain thing, huh? So, and so for years I was like, just like with the visions that are clearing us out now and through the dark night of the soul and through the void, allowing us to create, a, to come into our co-creative potential and into the fifth dimension. This vision that I had, this very graphic vision of being possessed by, <laughs> by a parasitic entity in the astral realm, you know, totally freaked me out. But it was a good lesson about, uh, in, in the overview in the long term, it was a very good lesson about unifying the brain and, uh, and once more attain, attaining a unified brain field. <laughs> Truly was, you know. And why should we let these, why should we settle for less than sacred sexuality? This sacredness of, and free will of both genders on earth, why should we settle for less than that? Why should we settle for half a brain? Oh, that kind of story. And so, I will tell you that the story had a very good ending two years ago at the time of the shift, all of those little beings, whatever they were, they all like dropped off everybody and disappeared just evaporated and so waiting all this time for, for our free will choice is whatever side of the brain has been lying dormant is waiting for us to invigorate it with astral matter and to carry on, to carry on in the fullest of, of mastery of mind. Ha. So every story has a good ending, huh? <laughs> we get, I get there eventually. <laughs> so. <laughs>